Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. Today I'm going to do a cup swing pour, but with a difference, or, or a pendulum pour as well it's called. Now I've tried to do a dirty pour using the pendulum once and it just didn't work out. As all the colours came through the little hole they just turned into really an awful muddy colour and uh, it was quite a disappointment. So what I've tried going to try today is I'm going to pour using this cup. Now this is not a pretty looking cup because it's taken quite a lot of work to get it like this but what I've used is I've used acetate to divide the cup into four. I've got four little holes in the bottom and I've hot glue gunned and tested it with water so it doesn't leak through and I'm going to suspend it from here and I'm going to swing it over and what I'm going to be swinging it over is these four boards because I think it will look really nice on the wall with these four boards. I'm going to coat these boards with a white base and I'm going to let that cure, not completely cure, but let that cure for a few hours before I do the swing pour. As I say, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Well, you probably do because you'd have seen the thumbnail, but I don't at this stage. It's like time travel. Oh my God, I'm Marty McFly. So I hope it works out. See you in a minute. I'm all ready now to start mixing up my four colours. And the four colours that I've chosen are orange, a metallic red, a dark blue and a gold. So they'll each individually be poured into uh, the sections. And then I shall swing it round that way across the boards. Okay, so all my colours are mixed up. And I've put some masking tape on the bottom of this. When it's finished and I feel it's enough, I should just put this pot over it and stop it. And here we go. Wow, that is working really, really well. And all the colours do seem to be coming out. I could have done with an even bigger board the way I've swung it. The red seems to be a little bit struggling. I don't know why that is. Oh, I've well over mixed. I've well used far too much um, resin, but it doesn't matter. I should put a bit of tape on and probably pour that into a mould somewhere. Wow, I'm absolutely loving that. I love it. That's made a really pretty pattern. And hopefully, because the um, bottom coat, the white, hasn't um, become, it isn't wet, it will hopefully allow these colours not to blend or merge in too much. We have got four colours coming out, there's no doubt about that. I have added mica to all four of these colours and I've tried to ensure that these colours are um, all mixed to the same consistency and hopefully I really like that that has taken it has taken me a long time to set up and it has made a little bit more mess than I thought it would um, in some places but not majorly and I like the way now where the cup is slowing down that is actually beginning to um, to make a lot closer pattern. So it's really spread out to begin with, then it's less open, and now it's a quite a closed pattern. I evidently didn't get my boards in um, the centre of this cup, although I did test it with a plumb line, and it looked like it was, but evidently I didn't. There we go. I 
that's so powerful. I, I just really love it. I just hope it does its thing. I know it's going to be quite bulbous in the middle here because of where there's a lot more resin and it's going to flow. Although I have used a little bit of a stickier resin. I didn't heat the resin up at all when I was mixing it. I think this is about finished. And actually, I think it did use most of the colours. The only one it really didn't use most of was the red. And that might be because that was a little bit thicker. There we go, that's done. So this is the picture finished and dry and mounted on the wall. I have to say, I absolutely love it. I was going to cover it in another clear coat of resin, but I really like the fact that it's quite tactile and you can feel the raised bits. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like how the middle bit here was, uh, had come out. But again, I really am pleased with it. I thought maybe it was going to be a bit heavy, but what it did was it produced these little holes so you know that that's how it's supposed to be. So I know it's not a traditional dirty pour because it's not, but I couldn't get a dirty pour to work with resin through the pendulum method. But it's as close as I'm going to get, I think, and I'm really pleased with it. I hope you like it. Uh, I would really appreciate um, the comments and let me know what you think of it because I think it's great and I think it was a really easy way to get four different colours in a pendulum swing. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.